Hey, Honkataro, let's go. IPC, we are back. Though this feather does look similar in shape to my ear feathers, it is of a different color and thus unlikely to be mine. Well, come on, conductor. Wait, what? You know me. I care more about my hair than anyone else. If I was really shedding that much, I'd be jumping out of my chair right now. Hey, you feather shedder! Who are you, feather shedder? <laughs> Oh my god, he killed him. I didn't know Pom Pom was a combat unit. Okay, trailer. <laughs> Come on, man. Welcome to the party car. Nameless. Would you like to have a drink? A snack or commence party time? Why didn't you talk like Bernister? For one quick second. What is happening? God, that's sh now, but please feel free Not the bathtub is crazy. With Stell, of course. Scattered. Oh, she has a different voice. Though the cosmos stretches far and wide, as long as we hold each other in our thoughts, there will always be a chance for reunion. God, I'm looking. Holy moly. I'm just stunned. Echoes of the past. Not fade away. Wait, so he did escape. Follow me. Or the stars. Should one desire to leave the stage for good? One must first step back onto the stage. Ah, you must step onto the stage again. Okay. Herta Golden Gears The Sunday fight So it looks like there's like two different things going on right now It's gonna be like split into like different perspectives maybe Like how we have usually And then maybe like we're not even involved Cause like it didn't show many of us right Hmm Marvelous Right thank you Ran the deeper voice man Shit I'm cooked man I wanted to pull, pull Sunday but now I don't know if I have to if I need, if I can. <laughs> Why Sunday first, man? Oh my god. But they were cooking with that. Holy moly. Wow, Albert, wake up. It's time to do the introductions. Nah, Sunday yeah. became an emo boy. That's crazy. An e boy. <laughs> Where am I? Insane. Oh, Albert. Once upon a time, you were the center of attention. You owned the mic, and the whole cosmos was at your feet. When your mic was on, even IPC execs had to make way for you. Did they? <laughs> Who are you guys? Uh, you even forgot us? I'm March 7th. Long time no see, everyone. I am Sunday. Hello, everyone. I'm Pop. Conductor of the Astral Express. It's a pleasure to be a part of the special program. Pom -pom. Well, since Finally. Albert lost his memory, seven. Uh, I'll be the host this time. That way I'll get paid double. <gasps> huh? I suddenly remember oh. everything now. Woo! Oh, when it comes to money, Whether shit. Not your world has the concept of a week. Good Monday, good Sunday, and good every day. The concept of week. Welcome. To the version 2.7, a new venture on the 8th Dawn special program. Oh, I see that Mr. Owlbert has recovered. He even improved his lines. Is that the power of a salary? <laughs> you know, I like in a story that they, they kind of showed like the, con the not the story, the trailer, that they showed like the kind of conclusions, the but they haven't shown season. how they got there, like Fugu and Sunday, right? So that's great, or what? Uh, <sighs> it's a good day to be alive, but I really think is back. That's all I'm gonna say. With Mr. Again. <laughs> the 
in the Peniconi Grand Theater still seems like just yesterday. I didn't realize it's been so long. When did March 7th suddenly get so sentimental? Uh, hey, it's normal for cute girls like me to get sentimental. Uh, now, Mr. Sunday. What am I thinking of deep voice, though? Headlines again. That went crazy. Are you? <laughs> but if you want to promote a seven-day weekend, I think I'd be down for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I also Kinda saw awkward. Miss Ting Yoon in the trailer. She's wearing such a gorgeous dress. I really wonder what she went through. Slow down, March 7th. <laughs> Let's get to those one at a time. Firstly, let's get reacquainted with an old friend who's been out of the spotlight for a while. I'm already. Right, this music was crazy for him. Sunday. Do you all remember at He's just the like, end of version 2.3? But this guy saying 2.3. That was like half a year ago. Gave him <laughs> that was crazy. Advice. Oh, oh, child, go see what this world is truly like. Uh, Mr. Sunday? So I wonder what Jade took from Robin. Because I'm assuming that deal that Jade made was with Robin. How things played out. <laughs> He's just telling the story from a different perspective perhaps what that lady bonajade said was true descend to the mortal realm and walk their lands see what this world is truly like that did change my perspective on Peniconi and teach me a great deal remember i am no longer the head of the oak family but a mere escaped fugitive mm -hmm. escape you're just gonna walk around in broad daylight like that Aren't you afraid of being caught by the family? It seems Mr. Sunday was able to return to Peniconi thanks to the secret aid of a Papeshi named One Week. I see. Hmm. So Mr. Sunday still had an ace up his sleeve? I've lived in Peniconi for so long. I still have some connections that are willing to look out for me once in a while. Seems like your Robin Hood are also there to conceal your identity. Indeed, wise conductor. My original outfit stands out far too much. I need to disguise myself somewhat to avoid stirring up unnecessary troubles. Oh. I thought it was because his original suit got made into the Sicardos Relived Ordeal Relic set. And he had to get a new outfit. Because he's got no clothes left. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's like with the Mr. hero Sunday craft. was once the Bronze Melodia and spent years listening to others confessions and yet he's now an escaped convict <laughs> this must be a brand new experience for someone who used to be a high and mighty head of the family oh the crew totally knows how that feels bellabog was once plastered with our wanted posters but i'm curious what mr sunday's wanted poster would look like the family most likely did not make a big show of this in order to preserve the dreamscape's stability and avoid arousing too much suspicion. Wait, no posters? <sighs> Trust me, it's a very unique experience to collect wanted posters of yourself. Should I get someone to draw one for Mr. Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> that would not be necessary. I actually heard some strange rumors circulating around Pentecody. <laughs> Something like... <clears throat> Mr. Sunday got hit by a car and is currently resting, and the culprit of this traffic accident ran away. Uh, <laughs> what a strange rumor. There was no traffic accident. It was all about the power of uh, friendship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get back to the previous topic. You won't be hey, good up one. trouble in Peniconi this time, right, Mr. Sunday? Suppose actually laughed. Of course not. It's not because she's yapping for so long that like the conclusion actually built up to something. I woke up too. Having discarded the blessings from both the harmony and order, I will now pursue the utopia of my dreams as a mere mortal. 
I have returned to Panacone this time, only because I wish to complete a final performance before I embark on a new venture on the Eighth Dawn. Seems like the version name has a deeper meaning this time. Yep. If curious, then please experience the story for yourself in the game. And for more tidbits on the journey, Sunday took to pursue his dreams, as well as the story of how he fell into thorny paths many times, but climbed back out every time. <laughs> we'll show it all in the Myriad Celestia trailer. Stay tuned! Uh, oh, forgetting that that's not going to be part of the in-game story. A look at how Interesting. In I am an imaginary character, following the path of harmony. When using my technique in the overworld, I will leave a halo that buffs my teammates. My skill causes one designated ally character and their summon to immediately take action and increases their damage dealt. Oh, here we go. If my ally character has a summon, then the damage boost will be even higher. However, be aware that when Sunna uses his skill on ally characters following the path of harmony, they are not able to immediately take action. March 7th, don't See, that didn't look interesting. That fly out when Mr. Sunday flips his book. Look so this has 100% action forward. Oh, I never thought that one day I'd see those things on our side. When using my ultimate, I shall spread my wings and regenerate energy for one ally character. I wonder if that's what the puff of remembrance is going to be about summons. Summon will become the beatified for a number of my turns. Ally targets who have become the beatified shall bear a halo and have their crit damage increased. Oh, if Mr. Sunday can well, make summons it. immediately take action and bless them, can you do that with Miss Topaz's Numbi? Of course I can. Then what about Lingsha's incense piece? I can do that too. Ah, oh, then can you do that to Albert as a summon of the special program? Um, if Mr. Albert doesn't mind the immediate increase to his workload, then I suppose... Hey! I am sitting! Right here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That, those are not only summons, right? Now that we've talked about Sunday, no one else. It's time to get reacquainted with Miss hmm. Ding Yu. Or should Kay. I say, Fug. Fug. Oh, that's how you say it then. Hello? How did they manage this to make it look even better? Got like the nine tails or how many over there are. That looks crazy. Fire and hill then, eh? I miss Miss Ting Yoon. Is that the same English voice of VA? I don't know, bro. That voice was so much deeper. Is Miss Ting Yoon in Pentecost? I guess like if it was the same voice actress, he could do that, right? Miss Ting Yun literally had one foot in the grave after her encounter with Pantelia. It's only thanks to the Genius Society's Madame Ron May that she regained a chance at life. Madame Ron May That's is crazy. indeed a genius in the life sciences. Not long ago, Himiko and Welt met Miss Ting Yun when they visited Madame Ron May, and we voluntarily took on the task to take Miss Ting Yun home. That's the express crew for you. Uh -huh. Eager to help is basically our middle name. However, Miss Ting Yun wanted to stop somewhere before reaching the Sien Zhou, so she could calm her thoughts. It happened that the express needed to pick up supplies at Pentaconi, so she came with us. I see. I am curious. Ting Yun wanted to go to Pentaconi. Worrying, Miss Ting Yun. Interesting. Oh, maybe it has something to do with this new name, Fugue. I suppose the name Fugue combines both her regret of not having returned home for so long and her confusion regarding her current identity. Miss Ting Yun doesn't need any help with daily life, but Pom Pom often sees her spacing out on her own, like she's thinking about something really hard. Indeed. After a close brush with death, it's easy to feel that you've become a completely different person. Uh, Madame Ronnie yeah, may I guess so. Miss Ting Yun's body. But it looks like her spiritual wounds can only be healed by Miss Ting Yun herself. Passenger March, you and our gray trailblazer know Pentaconi inside and out. So can you two take Miss Ting Yun for a stroll to cheer her up? The conductor can't bear to see sad passengers. Oh, 
That's right. Benigoni, the planet of festivities, is the place to get jared up. There you go. You can definitely take Miss Ting Yoon around, get some good food, go on a shopping spree. So we're gonna go to the Xi'an Road and then drop her off, and we see like her. More details regarding how Miss Ting Yoon made her way back. Please stay tuned for Fugue's Myriad Celestia trailers. Yay! Then let's talk yeah. about Fugue's abilities. Okay, I get it. Is a fire character following the path of nihility. While okay, just normal basic field, attack. Allies' attacks against weakness broken enemies will additionally deal super break damage. Whoa! <clears throat> okay, so she replaces Harmony MC. You can increase an ally character's break effect and give them the Foxy and Prayer effect. At the same time, Fugue's own basic attack will become enhanced. Okay, I see. Character with Foxy More break more damage. There's also a chance to reduce the enemy target's defense. When using her ultimate, Fugue can deal fire damage to all enemies. Okay. But this attack ignores weakness types to reduce all enemies' toughness. Of course it does. Oh, such gorgeous so that's why he's better than Harmonium C. Because I was like, it just sounds like the same kit. But that, that changes, like everything. Using Fugue's technique in the overworld can inflict days on enemies in a set radius. Entering battle by attacking dazed enemies will advance Fugue's action and reduce the enemy target's defense. Those boxy and tails are really captivating. Reduce their defense? Aww, I just want to from a technique? From tail. He looks so fluffy. Like a passive technique? <laughs> That's crazy. <sighs> the conductor will be upset again if we get fur all over the express. Hey! No ruining the Express's cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> so let us have a look at version 2.7's banners. Crown the Descent. 2.7's first half warp event. Trailblazers can acquire the Wait, limited 5-star character Sunday. I'm thinking they just look better than before. That's crazy. Limited five star I like Sunday's drip. A grounded ascent will it's also a drip. I like that coat. I don't know. The limited Five star character Jing Yuan. That's crazy. <laughs> They're really trying. The They're trying to revive this guy straight up. I mean, I would be surprised if Jing Yuan is like metal with Sunday. There's no way. Event, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five star character Fugue. The limited five star light cone, Long Road Leads Home, will also have a boosted drop. Cut the light cone. The second half. The limited five star character Firefly is returning. Whoa. At the same time, this patch may make more money than I thought. Whereabouts should dreams rest will become available once again. Hey! Uh, there's actually a question that's been eating away at me. A trail based mission. So this is like the real deal. It's not continuance. Are we venturing out on a new trailblazing expedition again soon? <laughs> Just sit tight for now. <laughs> a quick recap. At the end of the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, Farewell Fenicone, Black Swan recommended that the express crew head to Amphorius. Amphorius? Amphorius. Land, a place where even the eon of the Trailblaze Akavili failed to reach. In the version 2.7 Trailblaze mission, a new venture on the 8th dawn. Navigator Miss Hemiko decides to go seek information about Amphorius just to be on the safe side. At the same okay. time, the crew stops in Penacone for the last time in preparation for their departure. Uh, then what about Mr. Sunday? Well, Mr. Sunday... <clears throat> what about him? He is caught by the crew right then and there when he goes out with one week. <laughs> Isn't that a coincidence? Seems like the robe and hood didn't do much. I have to say that the express crew is exceptionally sharp. Well, if you ask me, getting caught by the express crew isn't a bad thing. Yeah, so Sunday's gonna talk to Ting Yun, maybe. I don't know, that's gonna be interesting. Maybe he can, like, enlighten her. So she cheers up or something, I don't know. Oh, does the trailblazer get to make a choice again? Well, as to what kind of story will unfold among the crew, Ting Yun and Sunday. Please see for yourselves. So everyone's gonna be together. So it's not like two different stories. Don't forget, version 2.7 is the final version before the express heads to the next stop. It is the epilogue to our holiday in Penacone, as well as the prologue to the brand new story in version 3.0. Oh, 
And there it is. Therefore, to ensure that everyone has a good experience with the story, this version has added a story recap function. Before starting a new Trailblaze mission, you can select to review a summary of previous Trailblaze missions. For example, since you've experienced several Trailblaze continuances in a row between versions 2.4 and 2.6, you can use this function to recall your journey in Panacone. Panacone was so peak, man. It's crazy. Trailblaze mission. Oh, I like this. If you want to know how things are going to develop, you should read the story. No, bro, not that scene, That's man. It. Shit. Here's another example. For the show to continue to the next segment, we will also need to have a recap. Uh, <laughs> what did Blood say? Amphorius, the eternal land. A place where even the eon of the Trailblaze Akavili failed to reach. Navigator Miss Hemiko decides to go seek information about Amphorius just to be on the safe side. Gods may have cast down the flames of wisdom, but the fires of civilization are lit by humanity. Amphorius, through strife, writes of the intersection of three paths. It is a world where heroes across the land embark on the flame chase journey together, and where humankind rewrites destiny. In the legend's beginning, the world was pure chaos. Holy. Then the gods cast down the core flames. British. The titans were born within. My God, we're getting 3.0 drip. The heavens and earth, three wove the threads of fate. Three molded life with their hands, and three guided calamity's gate. The titans blaze enlightened civilizations. And people of all realms thrived endlessly. God, this feels like some the golden age was fleeting. And the ring story. Bro, we're like we're going like, the sky came the like ancient the Greek time. place or Roman. Its gloom was darker than death itself. Driving the Titans to madness and the mortals to mutual war. Strife broke out across the land. The no, I think this is like Greek, right? Because of the style. I don't think Romans had it like this. The sun itself grew quiet in all. A millennium of divine conflict. I'm like, Left I'm getting chills, bro. World and an age of darkness. Oh. The core flames flickered and dimmed, and the age of the gods met its end. Golden blood fell to the ground as a distant prophecy resounded. Flow, golden blood, flow. Converge into a boiling river that flows to the heroic airs of this world. Aglaya the Gold Weaver, you must gently caress the holy city's silken web and hearken to the sounds and voices of destiny. There shall be the three-faced messenger traversing through myriad doors, bearing tidings to you from hundreds of worlds. And Exagoras the Foolish has enough knowledge to refute faith and to stir up a torrent Look, this is like the gods. Infernal Mansion like trailer thingy. Like introducing the all these characters. Dawn from dusk and let the sky become the slumbering cot from which she wakes. They can roar damn the well, Lugger maybe has someone unit War for Sunday cat assassin okay so we're getting cat people now if you grant her the right to embrace then even frozen death will sleep peacefully at her fingertips in like an Omega Freeze character. Water character? Outlanders from far away realms visiting under the veil of gloom until the journey's end, when the titans of old have all fallen, and the nameless new king ascends the throne alongside countless heroes to embark on the grand mission of deliverance. I that's sick. Oh my god. 
towards the distant future, where the sun shall etch the footprints of humanity. The children of humankind, known as the Chrysos Heirs, shall pluck the gods' Chrysos Heirs and once more uphold the world. Wait, is this like a, like how Zeus, Zeus had like the children or something? Is that what this is? Therefore, we cast even us into the flame, only to inscribe the opening stroke in the poem of creation. Now, like his children are gonna like help us bring everything back to normal. Most heroes' journeys in the universe are just dice tosses they threw on a whim. Oh my God! Will your answer be any different? And see her though. Amphorius? Of course, this will be a romantic story like none that has come before. Surely. You think so too, right? Okay, a uh, love interest maybe? What was that? Okay. <laughs> we gave 3.0 trip. Bro, we're not even done with 2.7, right? With 2.6 even. What the fuck is happening? Oh, that was chills, bro. Wow. Yeah, but I've, is that what they're going for, though? Like, you know, like the whole Zeus thing. With, like, ancient Greek style. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Introduce so many characters, bro. And they've done this for the... Um, the Zian story as well. They introduced everyone, kind of. Before they go released. Wow. Welcome back, everyone. Did you notice that the studio we're in this time is very special? <laughs> Would anyone like to guess where we are? It looks like well, on the Astral Express. But I don't remember having a car like this. That's right. We are in the familiar Astral Express coach. This is really a car on the Express? Cut. Why what characters were? We've got an extra one. March. The conductor works so hard every day to clean so many cars. Did you never notice? This party car has been here since completing the Trailblaze mission. The voyage continues. In other words, since the Trailblazer boarded the Express. Well, hang on. I... I... You... The history fictionologist? Fiction <laughs> <laughs> fiction. That's a good one. It's a nice uh, story reference. Kind friends, could you please reintroduce this car to me? <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> Welcome, dear guests, to the Astral Express party car. Here, we have a spacious reception area, a cool-toned marble bar, and a nostalgic bartending robot. With the cosmos as a backdrop, sharing a drink with the Express crew, or having some alone time next to the window is guaranteed to invoke the most profound thoughts. Dear guest, would you like a glass of the drink? Oh, this doesn't sound to be into drinks, but okay. Wow. That's crazy. They brought like the whole like Pinnacony vibe. Where did those like Astral Express vibe. It's interesting. Of course, lead to the Trailblazer's room. Well, when did they get their own room? Besides, this room is such a mess. It's obviously a storage room. Did Marsha's amnesia get worse? This is also a room that's been there since completing the Trailblaze mission. The voyage continues. Indeed. <laughs> Even though there was no extra passenger cabin room for the Trailblazer, we would never mistreat our youngest member. After the Trailblazer boarded the Express, the crew decided to give to them the second floor storage room in the party car. Also, the largest room. The party the car. That's right. Now you're right. talking. It was definitely not an oversight by the devs. <laughs> what? Am I wrong? How did? <laughs> that was a crazy comment. I feel like I don't know. That's funny though, because it's true. Be implemented in version 2.7. Thanks for waiting, everyone. I told you this is a new feature. Well, now that I look at it, this room is pretty barren despite its size. There's not even a bed here. 
Is the Trailblazer gonna sleep in a cardboard box? Of course not. In the version 2.7 event, Cosmic Home Decor Guide, the Trailblazer will renovate and furnish the Baron's storage room and make it a room of their own! Uh, that sounds super fun! Uh, but renovating sounds pretty difficult. Where should we start? Not to worry. The reliable conductor has already set up a zoning plan for the Trailblazer. That's right. The oh, you're gonna get rewards. Will be split into multiple zones, such as a bedroom and a bathroom. During the event, Trailblazers need to obtain furniture using express funds acquired through completing duties and fill up the empty room little by little. Once complete, the Trailblazer's suite will be truly luxurious, enough to rival the most opulent rooms in Penacony. So it doesn't sound like it's going to be fully custom. What are these duties you speak of? Pom Pom centrally manages all the resources on the Astral Express. If you want furniture, then you need to help the conductor do chores. Rewards come from hard work, and everyone needs to work together to maintain the Express. Uh, that's true. We can't let Pom Pom do the sweeping on their own every day. So what exactly do we need to do? Before each round of duties, the Trailblazer needs to put together a duty team and finish tasks together. Different team compositions will trigger different combo effects to help do chores more efficiently. Trailblazers can use action cards to effectively okay. plan out actions on the schedule and obtain corresponding work contribution value and fun. Sometimes you'll trigger different random events as you work or create wonderful memories with different passengers. I just like some turn-based thingy. Can we slack off a like a roguelike, maybe? Just a little. <laughs> nah, it's not. The conductor anticipates some of you would slack off. Pom Pom will be holding irregular dinner meetings during the duty period. Like a card adventure game. Of those on duty. The evaluation results will affect how much funds the Trailblazer will receive. However, the Trailblazer can also use various tactics and meeting abilities during the meeting to get the best score possible. Oh, so properly attending meetings can get Pom Pom to give us more pocket money. Oh, I'm so touched. Hey, Pom Pom heard that. Well, the meeting's outcome was mostly based on the duties done. Besides, once you've got enough express funds, what follows is the exciting renovation segment. Yep, if you work hard enough, you can get all the furniture you like. <sighs> I get such a feeling of accomplishment when I see the area getting filled up little by little. Also, once you've completed renovating the zones in the room, you can unlock the conductor's new outfit. Really? I can finally fulfill my wish of dressing up Pom Pom? Molly Molly outfits. It's, we're getting yes. there. Pom Pom's coat room is on the party car's first floor. Trailblazer. Feel free to give recommendations. So just like a chef dress. Outfits. I can't wait. Uh, can we get a preview of the room? Just for reference. Not a problem. Close your eyes. And open them. Now the Trailblazer has returned to their own room. Ooh. <laughs> wow. I'm tired after a whole day of Trailblazing. <laughs> The first thing to do after putting on some slippers and heading to my room is to have a lovely hot bath. <laughs> Which bath soap should I use? Um, what's this red stuff? I think it is a present left by Mr. Zhao Cho. Ugh. After finishing the chili bath, bath you okay. can jump into the big comfy bed and enjoy some rest and relaxation. You can also have a wonderful and 26 degrees. That's kind of hot, no? Top notch gaming hardware. Whoa. That's crazy. Games here would be awesome. The display area in the middle of the room will show the collectibles the Trailblazer has found on various worlds and the corresponding weapon for the current path. If you switch your path, the weapon shown will also change. There's also okay. a tea room full of snacks, drinks, and so glad. <laughs> it's just waiting for the trailblazer to visit. Oh, what a cute cat burger. I feel like I could spend an entire day in such a comfy room. Given that you have built this room through your own hard work, of course you like it. <laughs> but no matter how comfy your home is, don't forget to go outside once in a while. 
<laughs> Good. There True. are other events than version 2.7 waiting for you. Indeed. In the version 2.7 event Between the Frames, the Trailblazer will become Miss March's assistant photographer and head outside to take pictures with her. Oh? What fired up March's enthusiasm for photography again? Oh, look! The famed director, Mr. Rekka, is working with Paperfold University to hold an online photography exhibition. Mr. Rekka has assigned various photography tasks with different themes. During the event, the Trailblazer and I will photograph suitable scenes together to finish these themed tasks. The Trailblazer and Miss March also have a chance to obtain special items during the photography sessions. You might get surprising photos by using them. What kind of special items are there? For example, Sparkle's Kaleidoscope? Uh, I feel like we might see something super scary through Director Sparkle's lens. After completing Mr. Rekka's task, Trailblazers can use this chance to invite friends made during the journey as well as Dang. members of the oh, who came on group to take a group photo together. Oh, yay. My favorite part. And now, there's a Divergent Universe update we'd like to bring to you. Oh. For this update, we've added some curios and weighted curios, as well as okay. equations and random occurrences. Okay. That's right. In version 2.7, the save file from the Divergent Universe will also last longer. Instead of refreshing every Monday, the save file will now reset whenever the Divergent Universe has a version update. That way, the good save files that you've worked hard to get can last for even longer. And you can use them to extract planar ornaments. Yep. And I, I mean, okay, sure. That's nice. There will be some ways to raise synchronicity level faster in the Divergent Universe. So you can unlock full synchronicity level rewards faster. So they're not going to extend it? And not worry about how you're going to grind for the rewards. The pure fiction mode. Yeah, like, also did you want to in the new do anything? Trailblazers will be oh. able to experience the brand new grit mechanics. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. After the version 2.7 update, the different stage effects for each period will become different grit mechanics? That's right. Activate grit mechanics in each battle to rapidly accumulate grit value. Once full, characters will enter surging grit, gaining powerful buffs that can help you defeat enemies faster. Apart from activating grit mechanics, defeating enemies can also accumulate grit value. Moreover, during Surging Grit, the Trailblazer can also accumulate a certain amount of Resurging Tide through defeating enemy units. When Surging Grit ends and you return to Concordant Truce, the previously accumulated Resurging Tide will turn into Grit Value, helping you to save up for the next Surging Grit. So it's like cash back once you've spent enough money? <laughs> <laughs> After the update, the enemy okay. mechanics in Pure Fiction will also have changes. Non-boss enemies will continuously refresh after they are defeated. Also, apart from directly damaging enemy bosses, you can also reduce the boss's health by defeating non-boss enemies. Oh yeah, they did say that. Yeah. The boss, you can instantly enter the next That's because so now you can go like full air edition. You can also kill mobs as soon as possible. Like you probably don't need any single target damage now. on the field to deal with also the new non-boss enemies and like him a con that can just keep going over and over again and jade right there are also some hotly anticipated quality of life changes in coming from version 2.7 the highest quick clear floor in the forgotten hall will be adjusted wow. from floor seven to nine in other words as long as one successfully clears so the nice hall floor nine one can obtain all rewards from the nine floors. God, it's gonna make it so much faster. Just like how you could get seven floors worth of rewards by clearing floor seven. In version 2.7, we will also be reducing the size of the game client file, helping Trailblazers reduce the amount of storage needed on their device. There will be an option to delete past resources on mobile clients, so you can delete some audio and graphics you've already experienced to save stored space. I need that. Can't have too many files on my device. Last but not least, it's the new version. Can it mobile devices? Or maybe not PC. Firstly, the beloved ever constant gift of honesty 
will be arriving in version 2.7 as always. <laughs> yes. Okay. Planar fissure and realm of the strange events will okay. also return. Complete them to get double reward. And now it's time for a short break. The program will realm of the strange. Just a few moments. Okay. Now we're talking. Okay. Well, they are cooking. Welcome back. Like we've mentioned before, we're about to head to version 3.0. The devs would like to use this special program. To Online, not that many like side events, which is interesting. About future versions. Firstly, we will be implementing a new path, the Path of Remembrance, and version 3.0. Some of the new friends, the Trailblazer will meet at Emporia, will walk the Path of Remembrance. Oh? What kind of special mechanics does this path have? Characters walking the Path of Remembrance have summons called Memo Sprites. See, I the knew there's gonna be summons. Various specialties and can take on different duties in battle. When fighting in the same team as those following Unless I feel Sunday's gonna be such a meta defining unit, I feel like reliable on field teammates fighting beside you. Ah, this flying cutie is shielded too. That's true. Feels like battles will be very different after this. Ah, seems like the new path that the Trailblazer will unlock during version 3.0's Trailblazing Expedition will be remembrance. Oh, so that cutie just now is the Trailblazer's memo sprite? Yep. Version 3.0 will also add trace materials for the Path of Remembrance. <laughs> As a spoiler, there will not be any new trace materials for other paths anytime soon. <laughs> we'll be sure to tell you in advance when there are new materials. And there's another piece of news. Okay. The relic system will also be updated in version 3.0. Trailblazers can currently consume self-modeling resins to set a relic's main stat. In version 3.0, you will be able to set a relic's main stat and subsidiary stats using specific items when synthesizing new pieces. Oh, can you elaborate on that, Mr. Owlbert? Yeah, how many? A certain amount of the new item, Wispo Resin, on top of consuming I see. modeling resin to simultaneously set a relic's main and substats. You can also convert self-modeling resin into Wispo Resin. Huh? mean the trailblazer needs to save up their self-modeling resins how i wish we could get more wishful resin the exact details will be released in official announcements after this special program is aired <laughs> remember to save your self-modeling resin and plan how you want to use it after reading the announcement in addition version 3.0 also introduces a chance for you to redistribute a relic subsidiary stats enhancements for fully enhanced gold rarity relics only. These changes will be explained in more detail in the future. <laughs> As for now, please enjoy the epilogue. Can take the two from defense and put them on some. Oh my. <laughs> what is happening? To the end of this episode. <laughs> it's time to say Wait, Mr. Albert! Pom Pom found something in the storage boxes when clearing out the room for the Trailblazer. It's something everyone will definitely be interested in. I'll go get it right now. Uh, huh? huh? Bean soda, spring water, soul glass, trick snacks, Husper wrapped. <laughs> coming through, coming through. Tucking your wings and tails. Whoa, so many delicious Your wings snacks. and tails. Oh no, what were they given? can claim gift of the express and obtain one regular five-star character of your choice <laughs> oh, whoa. this is so good so good well let us thank the conductor for their generosity just to clarify the conductor simply found this ticket in the gift box no one knows who put it there that's crazy but like who do i use it on bro i have every single regular five-star but I'm thinking him a cool. never ends. Old friends and new friends. Let's all set off together and keep fighting side by side. Thank you, Trailblazers, for your unending support throughout this journey. Uh, and now, 
Subversion 2.7 Special Programming. Why don't we take a group photo together, Conductor? Sure! Passengers, gather around! Uh, well, hold on! Let me do a pose! My microphone sent them to just fall down. Two, so one. don't worry. Can we see her in-game mode, though? Okay, she doesn't seem that much bigger. Wow. Well, they cooked. <laughs>